segment of the BTS logs and it's still within that uh, one week long day yeah uh, I'm nearing the end though the, the delivery I got which is a tablet it's now charging the next episode of uh, Big Bang Theory RL BTS vlog is going up so I'm just going to have some juice, watch a little TV for about a half hour, and I'm going back to bed, and that will be it. The uh, week is more or less, that, that day is now done. I'll have uh, some uh, time to sleep, so let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 12 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Friday, April 1st. Uh, 2016. It's officially the first day of Veda. Although, uh, I'm trying to get, I'll try to sort of, uh, I'm, 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 because I'm editing faster and there's more content, that means I'll try to upload faster instead of doing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's now going to be Monday, to, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, a combination over one of those two days. And that way, if I get four uploads per week, I can start catching up. And so the days, the, the, the difference between when the vlog goes up and when uh, it's filmed gets shorter. Uh, <laughs> it is always, often, uh, you know, you think it's easy to speak on camera, but as soon as the camera goes on, your, your mind goes blank. And that's why you see a lot of people say, you know, blank stare and going, hey, 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 how you doing? And, you know, that's, 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 that's about it. All comes out. There's a little, a little squeak comes out and <laughs> that's about it. Uh, it's because the camera goes on and you kind of forget who you know what to say. Everything, your mind goes blank and everything, all the amusing things you would have talked about, gone. <laughs> you see it over and over again, right? You will meet their favorite YouTubers like, Hi. <laughs> you know, when they're on camera. And that's, 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 that's sort of a natural reaction. You don't always know what to say. It's not always difficult to remember what to say. So even if you've thought of something beforehand, the camera goes on. It's gone. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, 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 the way, that's the way things go. So, you know, the the blogs are getting better. I think uh, the conversation is getting better. So, if that's if if this is the case, if we're we're seeing improvement. I think that's uh, means we're going in the right direction. Um, now it's going to be hard for me to uh, always respond to comments because uh, there's so much going on around. So, uh, but the place to comment would be either on the on the uh, the best place to comment is on the blog. The uh, Cyborg Alpha TV blo uh, blog, yeah, Cyborg Alpha TV Network blog. That's where it, it, it posts there. Go to the episode, post your comment there, and I'm guaranteed to sort. Of, see, I, I gotta have everything in one place. Sort of that's what I said. That's why I created the network so that everything's not all over the place. If I have to go to different channels, log in to see the comments, it's gonna hard for me to sort of see what you're writing about. So. Uh, if it's in one place, it's going to be a lot easier, and rather than reply in the comments, I'm going to reply on videos. So in other words, you can see comments being replied to uh, right in the episode as you're watching. So, you know, ask your questions, make your comments, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, so, I'm just about a half hour away from sleeping. <laughs> Having a good sleep. 
I mean, I, I was up. I've been up since eight o'clock this morning, right? And I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go to bed. Uh, I had more or less finished around three o'clock last night. Oh, it was a really good concert. I went to a concert with my brother uh, David Gilmore from uh, Pink Floyd. He uh, amazing musician. You don't understand necessarily. You don't necessarily understand. the level of artistry while you can't appreciate some of the pop princesses like uh, Selena Gomez and so on and so forth you really don't under you don't really get a full sense of appreciation until you go to a show like uh, David Gilmour and you see the type of presentation the way he presents his work and you got to realize that a lot of this you know the work that he's done uh, that Pink Floyd did they didn't have a lot of the technology, you know, when it, when it was done. And these artists were ones who, who they, they designed this stuff. This, it wasn't something that you had a whole bunch of designers sitting around, you know, you had, you know or you had a legal team creating a, uh, creating a marketing event. This, this, you know, these, old, these older bands, the reason why they still have large followings is because you do really have the artists there. The artist is there. It's not... <laughs> he's not a... You know, sorry for the lack of term, a pop princess. Now, if that's what you want to do, you want to be an entertainer, you want to be a pop princess, then yeah, that's the thing. But if you're interested more in the art of the thing, you're more interested in, you know, uh, you know, the whole getting into all these aspects, then, uh, then you're going to need to put in something significantly more. And this is sort of what you see with David Gilmore. So it was a good show last night, but uh, <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't get finished last night to the work. I had, you know, got home late. Got home around eleven, twelve. Uh, did about three hours worth of work. Uh, wanted to test something for a bit. Ended up uh, not finishing the testing uh, on, on my open open IPTV uh, till about uh, five o'clock in the morning. So I didn't get to bed till properly till about six o'clock, six a.m. And then of course, uh, uh, seven a.m. I opened the doors, opened the doors, and began waiting for the delivery, which came in just about a half hour ago. So, uh, and now I'm, I said I then did, did the work to, uh, uh, well, I was waiting. I did the work to the uh, editing work to uh, get the notes t done. There's always notes with the go when you upload a video, you put your description in. Well, I have to, sometimes, if I'm not always up on it, I have to do it. So that's what I did. Now I did the notes for the uh, uploads. I did uh, three episodes worth of notes. Uh, it's on the, all the notes and the uh, show, the episodes, or the three new episodes are now on the machine uh, for uploading. And one is now being uploaded. The another, next one will be done on Saturday, Sunday, in that time frame there. And then Monday, again, there'll be another upload. So uh, the weekend you'll get. <laughs> more uploads than uh, than you will. But in the mid midweek, you'll take a break. Take a break on Tuesday and Thursday, and that's the way we'll go with the thing. I mean, I think we should be able to catch up on uh, the discrepancy between um, when the show goes up and when it's filmed. So, if we can get closer and closer to that date, and there's not much time off, then yay for that. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, and we'll see you in the next segment of the uh, BTS Vlogs. Alright, take it easy. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the uh, <clears throat> next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Uh, it's not exactly a new day. Uh, it's just about 8.30 in the evening, so it's a... It's a Ooh, it's still Friday. I think of that. Uh, it's still uh, so. Let's see. It's, if it's still Friday, it's still April first. So it's uh, twenty hours and twenty three minutes into the day of uh, April first, uh, two thousand sixteen. Uh, it's the first day of Veda uh, vlogging every day in April. There's also one in August as well. So we're vlogging every day in August. Because two months start with A. 
I guess those are the Canadian months, right? <laughs> if, if a month starts with A, then it must be Canadian. <laughs> Things you think about it, uh, well, for me, this is, uh, I went to bed around 3, finally went to bed uh, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, got up around 7 to push out the uh, uh, vlog to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. That's my phone again. Uh, uh, played some video games on my phone, and now I'm coming back to bed, so that's uh, where things are right now. <laughs> this is, I'm going to try to vlog more, try to vlog what I'm doing throughout the day, and, well, this is it. This is, uh, you know, vlogging throughout the day, and... It may be a little bit mundane, but <laughs> that's kind of the way things go. It's not everything... Well, I don't think anything is really exciting around here. It's mostly reading and studying, but <laughs> that, but if, you, if you're a scientist, that's what you do. If you're, if, if you're doing... If you're a researcher, that's what you do. You do... A lot of the work is, is, is studying work. Um, it's not, uh, you know, always sort of... Uh, you're not in the lab uh, uh, all that much time. And once you once you start getting a good amount of information from the lab work for from your exploration, then uh, you don't spend that much time in the lab. I mean, if you want to push the boundaries of knowledge, of the boundaries of science, in my particular case, I do everything through physics. Then you have to know where, where where everybody else is. You have to know where the edge is, and this takes a lot of research. You know what do what do people know? What do people think about science? What is, you know, what do they think about you know aliens? Right? Because we're talking about space, you're talking about physics. Well, is there other life out there? Are there aliens? Are we being visited? You know, um, and they often talk about with the science. They if you start doing enough of the research, you'll find they'll talk about Illuminati. They'll talk about uh, this group. They talk about Area Fifty One. Uh, of course, you because you in physics, particularly if you get into Tesla, you run into all this sort of secret government and all these sort of things. I said, well, if something is secret, do you is there a way to know about something that's secret? Well, in physics, yes, there is, because what happens is physics is limited by the actual knowledge of physics. So. Uh, You can determine whether a story about something that's being a hidden technology is there or not. I'll give me give you an example here. There are a number of people who feel who that the drug companies are withholding life saving medication. That there is a secret government out there that has all this knowledge and uh, they have all the bill, the the pills to. Save lives, and you know the cure for cancer would have been done a long time ago if it weren't for these um, so-called <clears throat> evil drug corporations. So to put this in perspective, let's look at some of if you do a bit of history on the Illuminati, which is real. Uh, there is a real Illuminati organization. It's not necessarily what people present it as. You know, if you look at the conspiracy theories and stuff like that. Uh, the reality, the history of Illuminati is, is significantly more interesting than uh, the so-called conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory is maybe your entryway, it's your first exposure to it. Go into history, go and study some history, and you'll find that there is the Illuminati is actually there. It's a historical group, and it often involved a lot of different leaderships. You know, a number of the different world leaders were there. And this group was indeed searching for, like the uh, explorer Ponce de Leon, they were first. They were always searching for this fountain of youth. They wanted to stay young forever. Well, uh, let's look at how many people were in their graves of these Illuminati types. Because there's a history of Illuminati. There's a history of people who are in the Illuminati. Let's see how many are still actually alive from you know, way back when. How many have had this magic pill and, and survived? Well... Ronald Reagan was part of the group. Uh, George uh, Bush was part of the group. Uh, Ronald Reagan's gone. Uh, 
George George Bush the George Bush Senior does not look like um, he's been at the fountain of youth at any time soon. Uh, Prescott Bush, which is what the one of the the father, the grandfather, something like that, of uh, George Sen George Senior, uh, he's dead. Uh, the great master uh, 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 Illuminati, um, Alistair Crawley, he's dead. Uh, and he died as a heroin addict. I mean, <laughs> if you were going to look at the life of Alistair Crawley, who was supposed to be this, this master uh, uh, Illuminati, this, you know, this high-level mason. Uh, it didn't end well. So you have to ask yourself the question is if if there is this sort of conspiracy theory out there that they're hiding all this technology and medicine, well, why are these people dying? So if these kids, you see the reality is you see these people are dead or dying or whatever, and they're not being their their health is not and life is not being prolonged. Then there isn't a magic pill. They haven't discovered anything more beyond what their sort of hope was. You know, they hope they have this thing. They have the hope to have this uh, uh, long life, happy life, wealthy life, and so on and so forth. And they achieve their degree of pleasure, but only in terms of a lifespan in a very short amount, a very small amount in comparison to the total of their life. So, they start off not necessarily in a good position. They enter into the, the concept of Illuminati, the, basically creating your heaven on earth. That's what Illuminati basically does. Their whole goal is to create their heaven on earth. They have it now. Uh, and it never ends well. <laughs> it just, just never ends well. Uh, if you go into these historical, these figures, go into the, to the, the biography of these people and do a bit of a search on it, it never ends well. So, uh, to say that there is this sort of spectacular technology or there's this uh, dealing with aliens who are going to prolong their life or, you know, something along those lines, it never panned out. It never came to what it was supposed to be. And so, <coughs> and so a large chunk of this whole Illuminati stuff is not real. It's just that this, and this is part of the problem with conspiracy, but you do have to look at conspiracy. Uh, part of the problem with conspiracy is that uh, you don't know necessarily know if it's going to be true or not. Uh, and more often, it, it, you're going to have partial truth. I mean, yes, there is Illuminati. Yes, there is a historical Illuminati. There's a real Illuminati, but they're not what they are made out to be. Uh, you know, they're, they're <coughs> the amount of knowledge that they have is actually rather, rather limited. And so with a good amount of physics, a good amount of chemistry, uh, and also the, the chemistry will lead you, in, because of organic chemistry, leads you into medicine. Medicine is fundamentally organic chemistry. Uh, you can sort of figure out what's going on. Same thing with, you know, with physics. You can find out, you can sort of, if you have a good understanding of physics, and you're doing your physics research, you can actually figure out what's going on in Area 51. Simply by knowing where the limits of physics is. I mean, you can sort of see it, see the results. Well, what, what type of weaponry are they producing? You know, what's in the battlefield? How well are they doing in, in the battlefield? If they've got this super amazing weapon, that sort of the super secret weapon, you would expect that they would walk in and the war would be over and in a matter of days, and they would only get soldiers. They wouldn't, you know, there would be no civilian deaths or anything like that. But we don't see that. That's not. That's not what we're seeing. We're seeing, you know, millions of people being mowed over. We're seeing millions of people dying. The the so-called the innocent casualty rates. I'm not going to call them collateral damage. That's the technical term. The collateral damage rates has gone up. It's not gone down since so uh, since the our invention of smart weapons and stuff like that. This is where the the new technology. Our, the, the, the number of people, innocent people who are being killed has not gone down, it's gone up. So how good are these weapons? How you know in terms of what they were in the past? They're not. They're worse because the the the, the civilian if the civilian casualties were, were starting to go down, 
but they're no longer going down, they're going up again. So basically since the uh, 1990s, the uh, casualty rates in war has gone up again. Oh. So that's where we are now. Uh, it's sort of, you know, where the knowledge is. <laughs> what's, what's, what's been going on for the last uh, week or so, the month, the, where, where the research is going into. And I think it's... <coughs> Because intelligence analysis leads you into um, not only ge geopolitical affairs, but it leads you back into physics in terms of what's being developed at uh, Area 51. Uh, it gets you into tests, it like, gets into a whole bunch of different areas. And these, you, end up having, you end up seeing a lot of your physics that you started off with uh, in uh, the work you're doing now. And that's what's here. Is I, I see a lot of the physics. I'm doing the... I'm doing organic chemistry, uh, basically the medicine. This has to uh, the, this has to do with uh, also has to do with uh, uh, sleep deprivation. You know, this is my constant reality. Uh, how do I, if I know my organic chemistry, how do I resolve uh, some of the negative consequences of uh, sleep deprivation? You know, not let my body collapse and, and you know it, it allow myself to go forward. You know. This is organic chemistry. If I know my organic chemistry well enough, I should be able to resolve at least some of the problems. So, this is a record of uh, my knowledge of uh, organic chemistry. So, uh, as I said before, a, a lot of the physio when we're talking about physiology, a large chunk of the physiology, how these physio the, physio the physiology of the human body occurs. It's all it's all organic chemistry. So uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to bed and uh, get another four hours, maybe, and uh, see. So I'll probably get up around midnight, and they'll start that day. The day will start around midnight, one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so it'll be good morning at well at midnight at zero hours in the morning. All right. So I'll see you in the next segment. All right. Bye bye. Well, hello everybody. Yep, it's uh, just about four hours later. That's right. It's uh, three hours. No, not three hours. Three minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, April second, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I had to think about my days there for my the, the 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 date a little bit. Get a little bit uh, uh, sort of. Uh, Tripped up with, uh, uh, on the date. I'm just getting up. So that's the good thing. Now the new uh, way I figured this out in terms of getting the lighting done uh, allows me to vlog uh, immediately as I get out of bed. So yeah, it's about four, uh, I went to bed around four uh, about eight o'clock in the evening. Um, uh, after getting up and uh, around seven o'clock and taking that. Uh, Doing that work to uh, do the final uh, push <clears throat> <Sorry. laughs> to push out the uh, video that I had uploaded to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. See, the, 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 each show goes up to its channel, uploads to the channel, and maybe two, three hours later, I push it out to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network. Uh, it goes out to the blog, it goes out to uh, uh, the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network's uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, I did that um, around 7 o'clock, uh, between 7 and 8, I did that. Uh, so, then I went back to bed, it's now uh, midnight. So, it's, uh, I'm up again, so I'm going to have something to eat, uh, do some more work, and we'll see what ends up happening in terms of the length of the time I'm up for, you know, the length of the segment for now. Uh, this is what it's going to be for a bit. I don't know what my, my schedule is going to get back to some degree of normal, uh, even though it may be skewed a little bit in terms of uh, when I get up and when I go to bed. But for now, this is the way it is. And this is what, this does happen uh, periodically. It, it, there isn't 
and I'm up for one particular period of time in terms of a, a, a night and a day you know, or, or, you know, when I get up and when I go to bed, but rather uh, short segments like this. And it's not as restful as, as, as sleeping straight through, but then I never sleep straight through. Anyways, things always pop up, pop up in my mind, and, you know, away you go. <laughs> and I guess the problem with not being able to turn off and even sort of having uh, your, having a, uh, Your intellect, I guess you will, your mind with you when you're sleeping. I mean, that's what lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is fundamentally your mind is with you when you're when you're when you're uh, sleeping. You're aware of what's happening in your dream, and it so and uh, your dream world while you're sleeping is, is is as much there's as much activity during that period as if as if you were awake. So. Uh, this is sort of the condition of living with for a while now. So, and this is part of it's part of uh, my daily life. Uh, the struggle right now that I've been dealing with is more of an issue of uh, physiology and organic chemistry, and making sure that the damage that it's done is is absolutely minimal, uh, and that the organic chemistry that I decide that uh, my body should have. Is actually in many ways even even benef beneficial comparison. If you take somebody else who's my age, I'm about fifty right now, and you compare the health statistics, the health data, uh, and where are you in terms of physical fitness, in terms of uh, the the, uh, the necessity for medication for uh, in my at my age level, it's, it's there's uh, cardiac there's cardiac issues there's I have blood pressure, there's stress, there's a whole number of different issues that, uh, that pop up. So where do I rank on that that scale there? Well, people that I know who are around 50 are now starting to have those pill boxes. And those, are the, those are the boxes with the, uh, that they t take pills. They have the days of the week on because they're taking multiple pills. And you know, it's easier to lay, the, lay out the, your, your, your pills according to day, then it is sort of keeping in the ball, because now you've got, at 50, uh, many people actually have more than one, bot one, one bottle of pill, because they ha they're taking more, more than one prescription. And uh, so, I'm not at that point yet, I'm, I haven't actually reached that point yet, so, uh, in terms of uh, the medication needs, I'm below average, so that means I'm, I'm, ahead, of, I'm ahead of the game, so. So the question is now, uh, where next? You know, and this is the whole thing is right now. This is an issue of uh, watching organ watching how the outcome of the organic chemistry uh, works with the income with, with what I'm putting in. So, uh, that's what's uh, that's the, how I deal with things. And uh, what's on the schedule today is I I hope to uh, during this waking period. It's I've got it more or less set up. To do a sound test uh, for the for the uh, for the new uh, studio setup, uh, see how that sounds, and uh, I'll see how it's working. I will show you when I, when I set everything up. I will show you uh, a little bit behind the scenes of filming, and uh, you'll be able to see able, able to see how it works. So, anyways, uh, I'm off for now. I've got to get something to eat and. Uh, do some checking on myself. I want to check my messages. So, uh, I'll see you in the next segment.
free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.